Diodes are essential building blocks in modern electronics, where the electric current, as a function of the voltage bias, shows a strong asymmetry called rectification. When you apply the positive voltage, the current shows strongly nonlinear curves, whereas it almost vanishes with negative voltage. In this paper, we propose a pure thermoelectric diode, which acts as a function of the temperature gradient only. Our system is normal metal quantum dot superconductor hybrid, where the quantum dot has a single level epsilon d, tunable by a gate potential. And we consider the Coulomb interaction in the mean field approximation, in which case u is a function of the temperature gradient. The superconductor can be described by the energy gap delta, and we apply the thermal gradient only to the normal metal. Here are working principles of our device. When there is no voltage bias, which is our case, the subgap transport is completely suppressed due to the particle hole symmetry. And the quasiparticles can be activated only with the positive thermal bias. Because in this case, the Fermi function broadens, and hence there are thermally excited quasiparticles which can tunnel through the system. But this is not the case when it cools the system down, where the Fermi function sharpens so that the tunnel ring is blocked because of the superconducting gap. So when you plot the charge current as a function of the temperature gradient, it actually shows a strong rectification and diode effects with the corresponding efficiencies eta very close to 1, irrespective of the tunnel broadening conditions. The details can be found in the paper. The spin symmetry of the system can be broken by applying the magnetic field, generating the Zeeman splittings of the quantum dot level, and also by using the ferromagnetic lead, having the spin density imbalance. In this case, the spin current can also be rectified with high efficiencies. Finally, we summarize the significance of this work. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope you enjoy reading our paper.